Good morning. I'm higher vibrations and so are you. And right now, a lot of us are having the same experience. And that is all of a sudden feeling cut off, feeling disconnected, feeling like your ascension has stopped and feeling an increased density kind of experience. A lot of individuals are having this happen right now. Not all of us. And I just wanted to let you know that this is a really common experience. There are a lot of things happening right now. We're in the palindrome period of the month. You know, and so there's a lot of really cool energy, just numerologically speaking, though the 7th, 17th, and 27th of this month of March have been and are going to continue to be very profound windows of time right now with the equinox and the, the spring and the, um, the new moon. And there's just so many things, extra solar flares caught in earthquakes as a result and the Schumann resonance just off the charts and just all of this stuff is happening right now for a very good reason. It's bringing in this light for you to be able to heal right now is a time of healing. This is what we were talking about a few weeks ago. That video we talked about how we were moving into the what the spirit is calling respite. The word respite is the time of respite. And in the respite, we always all of a sudden feel extremely tired, like we were tired before, but now it's just like, whoa. And noticing a lot of 3D-like experience coming into play in comparison to before, especially, and feeling kind of shut off. There's a, a sense of, as impasse, we connect and energetically interact with a lot of individuals and, and energies around us. And so when we feel that pullback happen, it causes that feeling of I'm cut off, like I'm no longer part of this. This is our internal healing. It's a gift of reset. This happens every year, every year, but though this particular year at this moment is a lot more profound. I've been paying attention for a few years now, and this one does, yes, it feels more strong. And there's a lot of new individuals on this awakening experience now. And they're in panic, a lot of them. And just upsetness of realizing that how many lies and things like that. So we're also sensing them too, okay? Remember that, that some of this stuff is just coming through. It's not your emotions. It's not yours. We're sensing others. And it feels like it's ours because we feel disconnected. So allow yourself to acknowledge that separate energy. And that's not you, okay? And just to let it go. To love it. You know, to give the love, just knowing that one of your peers somewhere out there is healing through something, acknowledging like a like a friend, good job, you're doing it. And that little bit of uh, that love that you send in that, that, oh, she's doing it or he's doing it, feeling transmutes that energy for them and for you. And so it's just an added bonus that you get to help others as a result as well while you're helping yourself allowing yourself the common courtesy of giving yourself what it is that you need in this experience at this moment is also service to the all as you heal and take care of yourself then all other things elevate and balance and find that light it's like dropping a drop of food coloring into a pool of water that spreads and connects and changes its form into something whatever it's meant to be in the end based on the other colors that it interacts with and becomes something new as you send love into the the very atmosphere the breath that you breathe changes what's before you and elevates it to a higher loving frequency space so if you can at this time i know Right now, feeling all this density makes it harder to do this kind of work. Feeling like you can't meditate. You can't uh, do your normal healing routine, your normal connectedness. A lot of people are talking about feeling all of a sudden not being able to channel all of this stuff. You're not alone. You're not. The energies, many of them, stepped back, though they're still present, okay? They're still there. Right now, it's very similar to realizing you're riding the bike and no one's holding on to the back of the seat while you're learning, right? 
first time without training wheels. Congratulations. Yes, it's terrifying. <laughs> when you first experience it, it is exhilarating and scary at the same time. There's a freedom and a liberation and excitement in involved as well as, oh no, what if? You know, and that moment that we have that question, allow yourself to pause and to be in yourself. Noticing and imagining that beautiful white light of God shining down into your chakra, whichever chakra is correct for you. Many will do it into the crown chakra. And this light fills your body. This love. This is God hugging you. Connecting to you. Encouraging you and letting you know that you're doing great. Don't stop. Just keep balancing those, those handlebars. You got this. And allowing yourself to heal through it. Another way to do that is to consider the other needs that you may have. Like speaking this truth. Having these experiences within the self. It's very easy to let ego get in the way. Because ego wants to, everything to stay the same. Giving you the idea that perhaps you can question these, these intuitions that you're having. That belief, that that concept that ego is trying to, re to teach you falsely that you have some type of sanity problem, right? And, you know, there are, there are various places where we can be in a place to speak our truth among many. For example, we have a weekly Zoom meeting that, that I, I run every, every Friday um, or Saturday, depending on where you are on the planet. It starts at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it goes for three hours. And that's in order to allow people to come late or leave early based on your time zone. Thank you for joining us on this experience. And I just want to reassure you that you're okay you're not alone and there are many out there who are also feeling all of the sudden cut off you're not this is a moment for you to see what you can do to understand that now it's time to figure out how to use that screwdriver you were given that power tool that turned on as you raised your frequency to a higher level we must first need to learn how to use a screwdriver before we can even consider the challenge of building a house. Take your time and be gentle with yourself. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for your service. Aho blessings.